Hello everyone and welcome to another GASP ALS project update. So in this video I'm going to show you some of the planned features that were implemented and also we're going to discuss towards the end of the video some of the upcoming features. So the first feature that was implemented is dynamic traversal. So now any geometry that is blocking the traversable collision channel is traversable and any geometry that is not blocking this channel is not traversable. Also, there's a limit to the rotation angle. So these ones, for example, are not traversable, but these ones, they're working just fine. Um, this is courtesy of Mr. Tapa on Twitter that uh, made this and also showed uh, on a X thread or Twitter thread how to do it. So here we have this component that is doing dynamic tracing. We can activate the debug and we can see how this works. So I will link the uh, Twitter X thread uh, in the description if you guys want to understand how this is done. It's a very, very cool thread uh, for this system, but also for understanding traversal uh, and parkour as a whole. So there are still some limitations sometimes, but overall it's working really fine. And the previous blocks were also working, of course, because this is basically not uh, different from what we had before. It's just that it's doing the tracing dynamically, it uh, doesn't matter what geometry we're in. So the second feature that we're going to discuss uh, is one of the most requested features and that is ragdoll. So we have ragdolls now in the game and they are implemented properly, meaning that the getup animations from ALS are also implemented depending on if we fall down like uh, on our belly or on our back. It's also working in all the weird conditions. I made sure that they are like always behaving correctly. So there were a lot of tutorials on how to implement Ragdoll for GASP, but if you just activate Ragdoll, um, basically your capsule stays in place, but then your mesh is, is going to some uh, other place. And when you recover from it, you will basically teleport. So ALS was doing this really well, basically by moving the capsule and the actor uh, on tick when you're in a ragged position. So I've taken everything from ALS and put it back with some tweaks. So it's uh, really cool, working fine, and it gives a nice ragdoll effect to the game. It's also working if you're crouched or not. So if you're crouched and you go to ragdoll and then you get up, it's you're still in crouch. And if you're standing up and going to ragdoll, well, you're still standing up. Uh, on the road <laughs> to get in here, like I had some really, really weird bugs that I would put on the video. So just for the fun. Also, one quick note is the ragdoll is replicated. So the way the ragdoll is replicated, uh, as some of you may know, like it's pretty complicated to replicate um, ragdolls because replicating physics is uh, not an easy thing in Unreal. The way the ragdoll is replicated is basically 
uh, once the ragdoll is triggered, it is plain on both the client and the server. Uh, so it can look different from client and server. But then when you recover from the ragdoll, like it's using the client position so that the, the, you don't teleport. So this could be a bit cheatable, uh, but it is working fine. So as you see here, uh, I'm teleported um, to where the, uh, the position of the owning client was. And this is how um, I replicated the ragdoll, but it is working and it is replicated with the uh, getup animations and all of that. There were uh, some uh, issues with the transitions, for example, when we were going to crouch and standing up with the overlays, there were some snapping, but those were fixed as well. And there were some issues when, like after the uh, traversal montages, the uh, hand IK was acting a bit finicky. That's also fixed. All right, so as for the upcoming features, so I'm still trying to find a proper way to do um, item attachments and to have everything work fine with uh, all kinds of meshes. So this is something that I didn't figure out yet. I'm trying to find like a proper position. I know that a lot of you guys also asked for um, a tutorial on how to do, for example, sword with, with attack animations. I'm going to get to that, but in order to get to that, I want to fix this um, issue, the attachment issue and the hand offsets so that that tutorial is actually up to date with everything. In the upcoming updates, I will find a way uh, to attach items uh, properly. And also I will be making a tutorial on how to do a sword with animations. That's not going to be very complicated to do. And after that, we're going to see where we go from there. Probably some more um, traversal animations, some more traversal actions. Um, and some, some other goodies uh, as we go forward. Uh, I also want to work a little bit on the camera. So um, there is a, uh, um, a person on YouTube that contacted me and sent me a more dynamic camera with basically shoulder switching. I will implement that and I want to do also first person. So we'll have first person and we'll have a more complete third person camera. Uh, I hope you guys like these updates. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, don't forget to share these with your friends. So I've been working on this for quite some time now. Um, if you want to collaborate, if you want to participate to the project, you can do pull requests on, uh, on GitHub. So yeah, that's it for this update. Uh, if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to post them in the comment. As always, I try to answer each and every single comment. Um, if you have any requests, you can send them. I don't promise anything, but I will try to do my best. And uh, as always, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and see you guys in the next video.